The truth is the opposite. The solid research, the scientific research, shows that people who are lying move a lot less than people who are telling the truth. That is because everybody knows that when you scratch yourself, it looks like you're lying. And so liars keep still. If someone's relaxed and they're telling the truth, they're not bothered if they itch a bit, they'll just scratch themselves. But what happens is that when the policeman says, OK, thank you very much, Mr. Johnson, we're finished now, then all of these movements that have been locked down and held fast all escape. So say, now we're finished with the interview, and then the person will go, oh, thank you, thank you very much. Oh, oh. So I stood in front of you before any of you were aware of anything was going on, when all of you were just listening and following along. And I said to everyone, after you'd looked at your pieces of paper, I said, right, whoever has the blank piece of paper, white lie, is going to lie to me. Blank piece of paper, you will lie. Do you understand? And pretty much all of you were like, yeah, 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 we got that, very simple. And then I made the Jesus joke about the cross and said, and the one person who has the cross on their paper, you will tell the truth. Do you understand? Four people stood still. One girl went, yes. A lot of body language is stuff we already know. It's not that advanced, it's not that complicated, it's stuff that we know, it's stuff that we've got inside us already. The biggest thing, the biggest trick with body language is just stopping to look at it, is taking the time to stop thinking about ourselves. Because every single person in this room, this city, this country, pretty much on the planet, has one thing that they're more interested in than anything else. One focus of their attention, this is true for every one of you, you're interested in yourself. 